Hola a todos. This is my second video practicing GCSE Spanish translations with this booklet, which I'll link in the description. I'm going to go through these two translations around the imperfect tense, so it's a great way for you guys watching to practice how to describe what used to happen when you were younger. Vale, vamos. So, although, this word is aunque. So, although today I am tall, so today is just hoy. So, aunque hoy. Now, to say I am, this comes from sort of to be, so we can use either ser or estar. Which one are we going to use? Well, the acronym Doctor Place, which I've got a whole separate video about um, for ser and estar. This D stands for physical description, so we're going to use ser, so soy. So, um, aunque hoy soy, so I am. Tall is alto y delgado is the word slim. When I was little, when is cuando. So this structure here, cuando era, I'm going to use pequeño. There's a couple of ways of saying this. I'm going to use pequeño. So this structure here, if I highlight it in yellow, um, cuando era pequeño is when I was smaller or younger or little. I used to be short. So era, again, it comes from ser in the imperfect tense. It's irregular, irregular. So era alto again. Um, sorry, short is the opposite of alto. It's going to be bajo. So era bajo. Y chubby, let's use like a word for fat, so gordo. So it's saying, so right now I'm tall and slim. When I was younger, I was shorter and chubbier. I used to like, um, me gusta is to like. We have to change this a into the, the imperfect one, the imperfect ending, so me gustaba. So me, um, I used to like me gustaba eating. Um, we wouldn't say comiendo. That wouldn't make sense. We need to have the infinitive after eating after me gusta or me gustaba so we're going to say comer so in english it translates as eating but in spanish we say comer to eat so i like to eat chocolate is the same just chocolate chocolate and um i played i'm going to use the imperfect tense again so i used to play is what i'm saying i used to play would be y jugaba Los videojuegos, videojuegos, and then every day, a couple of ways, I'm going to say cada día, with an accent on the I there, cada, we can say todos los días as well. Then, however, is sin embargo, which I'm sure all of you know that. Now I prefer, so ahora is the word for now, so we've seen um, hoy, which is today, and ahora, which is like now. We also have, if I do it in red here, hoy en día which just means nowadays. So if you're comparing sort of the past to the present, you can use something like nowadays or in día. Anyway, um, so I've said ahora, I prefer, is prefiero. We don't have any me in front of it, it's just prefiero, is I prefer. Um, to be, we're gonna use ser, no estar. Again, so a physical description, so prefiero ser, activo. Y tengo, is I have. Um, diet is the word dieta, it's feminine, so una dieta, muy, and sana, I can't say sano because dieta is feminine, so I have to say una dieta sana, or muy sana, vale? So full stop there, last sentence, I used to spend, pasar is sort of to spend time, so just to conjugate that, pasaba, would be I used to spend, you may sometimes see solía pasar, which means the same thing. Solia is I used to, and then pasar is to spend. However, if you want to actually use the imperfect tense sort of properly, you can just go ahead and conjugate the main verb pasar, so pasaba. Um, mucho tiempo, a lot of time. Con mis abuelos, that bit's easy. Now, we used to go to the park. To go is ir. So again, we can say soliamos ir. But to conjugate it properly, we're going to use ibamos. This is the um, imperfect tense irregular. There are three irregulars in the imperfect. We have ser, ver, and ir. So in this case, ir becomes iba. Or in this case, ibamos, because we're saying the we form. So I ibamos um, to the park, so al parque. To see is ver is to see. However, before this verb, we need para. So we're saying in order to see. Without this para, it wouldn't make sense. So it's almost saying in order to see. And we're looking at, what is it, the ducks? This is los patos, not a very common word. 
but Los Patos is the ducks, okay? Um, and that's this translation from English into Spanish. Then we've got the Spanish into English, which normally is a bit easier. So de pequeño is just another way of saying when I was younger. So I'm going to say when I was, I'm going to use little. When I was little, yo era muy travioso. This yo, we don't really need it here. It doesn't matter too much. Era is saying I, when I was younger, so the I form. So um, I, I'm going to say was, but you could also say used to be. And then muy is very, this travi travieso is a good adjective. It means like naughty or, um, yeah, naughty is the best way of describing that. So naughty, I was very naughty. Full stop. Era bajo, I was short. And I had from tener, so it's um, it's regular, so you could cross out the ER, add in the ER ending tenia. I had, or again, I can say used to have as well. Whichever you think is more common in English, I think either one works. Um, and I had castaño, is the color brown. So I had, um, I'm going to use, there's three adjectives here. I'm going to go in the order of I have short, straight, brown hair. That is what would make most sense. So short, straight, brown hair. Just because there's three adjectives, you want to think about sort of the order of them. The short, straight, brown hair, full stop. Ahora, we saw as now, I am tall. And tengo as I have. Um, el pelo largo is long hair. It's not large, be careful, largo. It's not large, it's long. It's long hair. We'll stop. Tengo los ojos. Oops. Um, I have, again, ojos is eyes, so blue eyes. And I wear gafas, is the word for glasses. Okay, um, so that sort of bit was in the present tense. Now back to the imperfect. De niño, similar, similar thing to de pequeño. When I was a child. Um, me gustaba, we saw earlier, is I used to like. And it's pasar tiempo we've seen as well, so to spend time I like. I'm going to say spending, even though it can also mean to spend, and it does also mean to spend. But in English, I think we would rather use the ing word, so I like spending. Um, also, I used to like spending time with my older brother, is what mayor is. So mi hermano is, of course, his brother, and then older is mayor. And the soliamos is the same thing as saying ibamos. So so soliamos ir, we can just say ibamos, it's the same thing. So, um, and we used to go to the pool, being piscina. Vale? Then we've got two more sentences left. También is also, um, me gustaba, again, I used to like. What comes after here? So, también me gustaba ir al cine. So, also, I used to like going to the cinema with, and this L here with the E on the accent becomes um, him. Otherwise, it would be the, but in this case, him. Lastly, hoy is today. I prefer to do or doing activities. Again, I'm going to say doing, but you could say to do. Um, activities with my friends, con mis amigos, and nos gusta is really similar to me gusta, but me is not me, it's nos, so this is we, um, so with my friends, and we like, jugar is to play or playing, football, um, or going to the shops. So tiendas is just the word for shops, so or going to the shops. Okay. So um, that's both translations done. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. If you've got any, uh, if you've got any um, questions or comments, leave a comment below. And adios.